Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to um, calculate the volume of your mold. We're going to use rectangular molds and we're going to use uh, odd shaped molds as well. We're going to do this one in imperial measurements. If you need the metric measurements, just click on the link above. It will take you to the other video there as well. Then when we've got the volume of our mold, I'm going to teach you how to calculate how much oil you need in your recipe for your specific mold. So let's just move over and let me show you how to do it. Okay, we need to measure our mold or find the volume of our mold so that we know how much um, soap butter we have to mix up for our soap. So I'm going to show you in two ways or two different methods. The first one is going to be for rectangular or square molds that's going to be able, you can measure it um, with a ruler. Um, and then I'm going to show a second method as well for irregular um, shapes. You can use the second method for this one here as well. Hey? So what we're going to do here is I have to concentrate seriously here because I grew up with metric and now this one is imperial. So we're going to measure it in inches and we're going to work with fluid ounces that we have to switch over to cubic ounces to get to real ounces or something like that for your weight. <laughs> so please be with me here. What we're going to do here is we're going to measure the length times the width times the height and we're going to get the volume then. So for this specific mold, remember we always measure the inside measurements, not the outside ones because we need the volume inside here. So we're going to take our ruler and for this mold it's going to be 6 inches in length. The width is going to be 4 inches and then the height that you want to fold your mold is going to depend on how full you want to make it. Now for me, this is my regular soap size about. This one is skewed, so it's a little bit smaller. It shrunk a little bit after um, six to eight weeks already. So for me, the soap is usually around about two and a half inches about high. So this one shrunk a little bit down. So I'm gonna take my height in here as two and a half inches and gonna work on that. So we've got six inches for the um, length then four inches for the height and width and we're gonna work on two and a half inches for the height now if i take six times four times two comma five it's gonna give me 60 cubic inches um, i'm so in the habit to write centimeters here so it's gonna be cubic inches here now we're gonna take the 60 cubic inches because this is now the volume of our mold but we need to know how much oil we need to use in this because remember this volume is going to be filled with oil it's going to be filled with water or a liquid um, sodium hydroxide so the water and the sodium hydroxide is also going to take some of the volume up now we're going to take the 60 cubic inches here times and we're going to use a factor of 0 0.4 so 0 0.4 and that is going to be equal to 24 ounces. Uh, ounces. See? In weight. So you will need 24 ounces of oil to, for your recipe to fold this specific mold to the level that I wanted to do it here. So this is your first method. Then your second method. This is for irregular shapes, like my little hot mold here. What you're going to do is you're going to take your mold, you're going to put it down, you're going to take some rice or sahu, water, doesn't matter, whatever you like and whatever you've got at hand, we're just going to get the volume here. And you're going to fill your mold to the level that you want your soap batter to fill it. So I've got here, uh, I like to fill it to the tippy top, and I've already pre-measured this for the metric video so I've got the right amount here for my little mold then you're going to take your cup and you are going to pour it into your cup and you're going to take the fluent uh, fluid ounce um, measurement on your cup here just going to shake it down 
and the fluid ounces here is four fluid ounces in this cup so you're gonna sorry use that so it is four fluid ounces and to get to cubic ounces you need to multiply it by 1,8 so it's 4 times 1,8 and that will give you 7,2 cubic ounces so it's cubic ounces there now if you've got your cubic ounces here what you need to do is you need to count, um, multiply it again with this 0,4 factor so we really, really, we again going to use the 0, 0,4. My tongue is twisting today. 0, 0,4. So we're going to take 7,2 fluid ounces. Oh, sorry, this is now cubic ounces, not fluid ounces anymore. So times 0, 0,4, and that will give you 2,88 ounces of oil that you're going to need to fill one of these little cavities. Now remember, the soap mold got six cavities here, so you're going to take the 0 0.88 times six, and that is going to give you 17.28 ounces of oil to fill these six cavities. There you go. So I hope this helps you, um, that you can measure your mold and calculate how much oil to use. So happy soaping until I see you next time, eh?